Okay, so starting off from the last tutorial, I had to split it up into several. Uh, here's the explosion that we ended up with uh, based on several things that we talked about in regards uh, to the trigon trigonometric functions uh, that we had to use before. Um, but for right now, what we want to do is we want to go ahead and, and change a few things now uh, in, inside of Maya on these um, volume axis fields. So go ahead and select your volume axis field and we want to go to along axis and make that like uh, probably two along axis make that two uh, and then we want to go to our field and first turn off disable evaluation and then we're going to get to the nuts and bolts of all the fuel uh, all the field attributes uh, in Maya and basically that's in this fuel attribute right here the fuel attribute is the most important thing when it comes to creating realistic explosions or anything like that in Maya simply because they're all directly connected to every attribute in Maya uh, and one of the most important starts off with the uh, ignition temperature the ignition temperature uh, technically should be called the minimum temperature uh, and we have the maximum temperature but the minimum temperature I have set at uh, 0 0.05 um, and that this is going to be this is saying that uh, this is the temperature that is going to the explosion is going to start and the maximum temperature is when the fuel is completely uh, burnt uh, burnt up uh, the the maximum temperature fuel speed it, it fuel uh, disbursement and and completion is actually directly connected to the reaction speed so if I have reaction speed at zero um, then what's going to happen is it's not going to burn that fast but if I had a reaction speed at one then I'm looking at a faster burn um, so I normally have this set at one I have this at one this is the default uh, air fuel ratio this is actually a scientific number here uh, speaking about actual explosions this number is 15 for these fuel induced in explosions and how it's mixing with the air once it's introduced uh, the fuel is introduced to the air and so this is something that I didn't come up with this is something that's scientifically based um, our heat release is at one our light release is at one and light color is, is the same so um, just keep in mind though that this incandescence is actually the colors that's in here is directly controlled uh, it's directly controlled uh, by this this uh, reaction this reaction speeds the air fuel ratio and ignition temperature when you're messing around with the fuel be careful because any small change in here will completely change your explosion and so basically let's run this back and see what we have now I'm not gonna run it completely because I don't want to be sitting here all day but you can let yours run and then you'll be able to see the changes from the, the previous explosion we had uh, to the current explosion that we have here okay so I'm gonna uh, leave it at that let me make sure all the other settings are right make sure your opacity and your bio, uh, bias input bias uh, self Yep. All right, so we're ready to go. And we're going to move on to the next one. And that's when we're going to start adding debris and all that sort of crap to it. All right, so if you have any questions, go ahead and uh, email me. And make sure you're not just stepping into this tutorial not having watched the first one. I, I believe I have the first one up there. The first one's pretty intense uh, because we get to this point. And now we're just uh, doing a few add-ons and stuff like that. All right, talk to you guys later. Bye.